guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 23 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we start this one with a massive game in the Champions League. Of course, we beat Real Madrid at home 1-0 in the opening leg of this round of 16 tie. We're travelling away to the Bernabeu, which looks fantastic at night, by the way, with all of those fans holding up the cards to make the, the wonderful scenes around the ground. As you can see, plenty of fixes have been played already in the, uh, in the round of 16. This is, like I say, the second leg. And Torres came very, very close to putting us 1-0 up there. Ike Casillas making a fantastic diving save down to his right hand side onto the post and of course away goals could be a massive factor in this game considering we were able to keep a clean sheet back at Stamford Bridge if we were able to pick up one it would need Madrid would need three goals to go through and almost perfectly timed as I say that Fernando Torres scores a strike and a half to put us 1-0 up after 35 minutes and that was a wonderful strike you'll be able to see from the replays again we see this time and time again this year with the new uh, the new physics engine etc on next gen the way the ball is struck the, the new ball physics is just absolutely superb what's it arc and twist and turn away from Ike Casillas he hits it right at him and it just whips away this second uh, second highlight shows it much much better it's going straight at Casillas and then just bends away right into that top right hand corner it's absolutely stupendous from Fernando Torres and that puts us in great stead for the rest of the game and Scholler was going to come close as well here lovely Berber spin inside the defender and then a nice shot and again it's CK Casillas on hand to make a decent save but this was going to lead to a period of play that kind of just emphasised our dominance so far in the overall tie at home and away that shot there from Scholler was worse so we're going to pick up a corner it's going to be Eden Hazard to whip it in from the left hand side David Luiz goes up and again Ike Casillas makes an absolute wonder save we'll see a replay of that one as well fantastic header from Luiz with the challenge of the defender on his shoulder to be able to get up arc his head and be able to uh, to pop that towards the far left corner is a, a great effort and uh, Casillas just a world class keeper with a world class save Varane this time against his former club goes up with another header we're actually going to pick up a third corner in a run there it was Xabi Alonso getting a deflection on it Juan Mata whips it in again. This time it's Luis again and off the bar this time. And eventually Real Madrid are able to clear. So we go in at half-time 1-0 up. And I have to be completely honest, I was really, really disappointed with the standard of Real Madrid so far in the tie and a half, the leg and a half. It's been really, really disappointing on all fronts. Attacking, defending, chance creation, possession retention, etc. But they came out all guns blazing second half. Carlo Ancelotti must have absolutely ripped into them. And that chance there from Cristiano Ronaldo really set the tone for what was going to happen in the second half they had a decent chance there Ronaldo's going to whip in the ball this time rather than having the effort himself and it's actually of all players to come up with a header in the box little Luka Modric is going to bring them back on level terms at 1-1 on the night of course we're still 2-1 up on aggregate but they're back in the tie as a whole fantastic ball across from uh, Cristiano Ronaldo it's actually Rafael Varane misses his header Ashley Cole just isn't in a chance or in a position to be able to challenge for the ball shows it perfectly here really good technique on the, head, on the header from uh, Luka Modric so that was the only place he could have put that to find the back of the net and that is exactly where the ball went and they were going to get another chance here Ronaldo's going to break down the left hand side everything kind of went through him but uh, Gareth Bale plays the ball out to Modric and that ball across for Di Maria is just next level Modric with the assist after scoring early on and I was concerned that it was offside and uh, it had been given unjustly but as you can see here from the replay uh, David Luiz is kind of two or three yards deeper than uh, the rest of the defensive line and that actually played Di Maria on but fortunately we were able to hold on for the rest of the tie pick up a 2-2 quote unquote win even though we lost on the night 2-1 we do go through on away goals and as you can see these are the rest of the results from the round Man United beat Schalke 3-1 5-1 Juventus Shakhtar Barcelona beating PSG 3-2 Marseille beating Dortmund 3-2 which is a massive tie uh, Milan beat Man City 3-2 as you would expect by Munich come out victors against Benfica 3-0 and uh, I don't know who actually won that tie between Atletico Madrid and Porto you would presume that that went through, happened on away goals but uh, which particular side went through I'm not sure but as you can see because of that international great international break after the Real Madrid game our next fixture is actually in the Champions League yet again. This time we've got Marseille and we saw them beat Dortmund over the course of two legs in the previous uh, previous kind of uh, graphics. So I uh, definitely wasn't underestimating them as we headed across to France at the Stade Velodrome. Really fantastic venue. The fans are so loud in Marseille. They honestly are amazing. But as you can see, it was Porto that went through against Atletico. They've got Bayern Munich and uh, we've got our... our game against Marseille now and they came very very close to getting in the lead here just before the half hour mark a lovely ball over the top the run wasn't tracked by the defender and we're just fortunate that his head was just poor he had so much time and space whether he got it on target I don't know whether Czech had got there and that was a glorious opportunity for them to go 1-0 up but uh, we we're actually going to go 1-0 up ourselves here 
what is Steve Mandanda doing? I really do not know. We had Luka Modric, the tiniest player on the pitch, score a headed goal in the previous game. And it's our tiniest player on the pitch, one matter that puts us 1-0 up away from home in Marseille. Fantastic header, but uh, you see the, as the ball tips, the ball is chipped over from Ashley Cole. I don't know whether it's a mix-up between Mandanda and his defender. I don't know whether he thought the defender was going to come and get it. But he just gets nowhere near it. He's caught in no man's land. And uh, one matter just profits from it, runs straight on, pops header into the back of the net. But that lead wasn't going to last long. Pai's going to have a strike from distance. And uh, it's actually Adil Rami, the centre-back. They've obviously brought him in from uh, from Valencia. Not too sure how much they paid for him, but he's a very, very solid centre-back, even though he doesn't have much pace. But he's doing his stuff at the other end of the pitch, getting on the score sheet. And again, I was concerned that that was offside. But you'll see from the replay when it does pop up. If you watch to the edge of the six-yard box, man that was on the post, Ashley Cole, was again a lot deeper than the rest of the defensive line. Plays the man on side, and uh, we do, in fact, get pegged back. But this time, we were able to take the advantage once again. Hazard into Vidal before the end of the second half. Lovely left foot. He's shot across into that far bottom corner. And we take the lead again just a few minutes before half time. But in stoppage time at the end of the first half, we get the pick of the goals so far in this episode. Shell is going to cut inside. Lovely Ronaldo chop. And there's no way that he deserves to be able to get that into the top right hand corner. It's just a phenomenal strike from Andre Scherler. He's really, really impressed me this season. I wasn't sure whether he'd stay at the club when I started the career mode, but he's just stepped up to the plate. He's been absolutely, absolutely superb for me this year, and that is just a, a fantastic goal. One of the goals of the season so far, without shadow of doubt, and that puts us in a commanding position at half-time. Three away goals, remember. We got through against Real on away goals. We've got three at half-time in this one away in France. So we're hoping to work uh, to continue Continue the run of good form we've had so far. Day made a change on the hour mark. Eto for Torres. Just to try and kind of put the tie to bed. If I could pick up a fourth, you'd have thought that would be all over. Because a four goal margin is just a huge one to take into a second leg. Especially a second leg that we'd be playing at home. Lovely ball over the top for Samioto to run onto. There was a run that Torres wouldn't have made. Uh, I have to be completely honest. And then there's Juan Mata running on from deep to pick up his second of the game. Now you'll see from the replay. It's the first touch that makes this goal spectacular. To kind of open the face of his body. Get it onto his favoured left foot. And then put it through the defender's legs. Just look at the first touch as he runs into the box. Lovely first touch. And then opens up the space to be able to put it through the defender's legs and into the back of the net but they weren't done either they're definitely not down and out so far in this tie is one of the AOs whether it's Andre AO or Jordan AO I'm not entirely too sure because they did bring Jordan on towards the end of the uh, end of the half it's Andre AO you can see there it says A although that may have e may even have been both of them there the other one may have been Jordan celebrating with him so I'm still not entirely too sure who it was but uh, my defence just kind of parted and opened like the Red Sea there and he was able to go through and make it 4-2 it was Andre AO there we go 91st minute goal but 4-2 uh, absolute goal bonanza so far in this episode I have to be completely honest I uh, really wasn't expecting that sort of performance from either from myself against Marseille or from Marseille to have that sort of backbone and character to fight their way back into the game. So 4-2 definitely is not done and dusted. If uh, if Marseille, Marseille have proved that they can score goals against me, they've got two. If they can win by three goals at Stamford Bridge, it's unlikely. But if they do, then of course they will go through. But we are in a very, very good position to go through to the court, to no, to the semi-finals rather of the Champions League. Because of course, this Marseille doubleheader is the quarterfinals of the Champions League this year. We threw to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We've won the Capital One Cup and of course we're hoping to get through to the semi-finals of the Champions League now and we sat second in the Premier League. So it's been a very, very good season to date. We're kind of hitting form at the right time in the season but as you can see in the background we're just going through a squad report so you can see who's making improvements where. Of course, feel free to pause the video at any point if there's any player in particular you might want to stop and have a look at. Quite disappointed with Diego Costa's growth to be completely honest although he was out for three months with a broken ankle so perhaps that isn't too much of a surprise. We'll have to wait and see how he performs towards the end of the season because I may even sell him on considering we'll have Romelu Lukaku coming back in from uh, at the low move out to Everton next season and they're two very, very similar players so perhaps one of them will be moving on next season but we'll have to wait and see. That is going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Rather than having the usual end slate, I'll just leave the uh, the squad report going through on the screen so you can watch that as, uh, as the video ends. So thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely absolutely superb and uh, of course feel free to uh, to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen in the top right hand corner of your screen and in the bottom left hand side will be a link to the previous video from this series but that is going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>